In today's video, we are building a modern farmhouse in Bloxburg, and the exterior value is less than $20,000. Okay, so here is our house. We built the exterior, and I think it actually looks kind of nice. I didn't like it at first. Um, I was really contemplating just not even posting this. I'm pretty indecisive. Once I made this, like, garden thingy, then I was like, wait, I kind of like this more. So here it is. Um, let me know if you guys want me to make an interior. Otherwise, I'll just get working on a new beach build. If not, so so it's okay whatever you'd like it is really great for role playing because it has three bedrooms like two bathrooms and it's very spacious too so yeah it's a pretty nice like family role play house and it has one garage here and one right there so yeah this like walkway i kind of like this though i think that adds a lot to the build and then these plants of course i really like those so we're gonna get right into building get comfy get a snack and let's start building let's go okay so this is the layout so this is the second floor and this is the first floor i don't know why there's a block of water over there but anyway we're gonna place the walls so we're gonna place four over here this is going to be the first garage we're gonna have two of them so we're gonna color it white with the horizontal planks and then we can copy that wall and place it here and then place one there and then place four right there but we're gonna place three walls in the center and they're gonna be colored white with concrete now we can go back to these striped walls and then place them around the remainder of the layout so then we can take it upstairs so we're gonna place one striped wall right here another one right here another one right here and then the same exact thing on this side and then you can go back downstairs and you can copy the concrete wall and then place one here two there and then one there and then three there and then of course the same thing on this side so pretty symmetrical and then just grab the striped walls and we're just gonna finish the rest of the layout with those so just like we did on the first floor basically now we can just grab the interior walls if you'd like to just place those down so this is actually going to be a bathroom right here and this will be a bedroom so they kind of go together this is going to be another bathroom and then this will be a bedroom and then this will be the third bedroom two bathrooms and three bedrooms and then downstairs we're gonna have the living room right over here and obviously this is going to be the first garage and this is the second garage the stairs are gonna be placed right here we're gonna be using these modern l stairs but I'm not gonna do that right now and then this is going to be the dining area and this will be the kitchen and then maybe we'll have a backyard over here that's why i kind of left that open but we'll see okay so now that all the walls are placed we are going to work on the roof so we're going to be using the slanted roof i've seen some people in my comments struggle with the slanted roof so i'm going to go extremely slow with this so i'm going to make sure it's on manual placement and i'm going to start at this corner and then i'm going to go over four to this corner now we're going to go up two to this corner then over to the left one then go down by one we're placing it on each corner basically so you're gonna go to the left by two up one to the left by one so you see that we basically hit it on each corner so i'm also going to change the grid size and then i'm going to grab the arrow right here it's really hard to see i'm gonna grab that arrow and i'm just going to increase its size a bit so about there and i'm gonna color the roof black with these bricks right here and then color the side of the wall so now you can copy that roof and we're gonna do the same exact thing on this side so once again start at this corner go over four go up two to this corner then go to the left by one go down by one go over by two go up by one and then go over to the left by one and then just raise it up once again one two two times and then you can place a slanted roof right over here if you want to make it easier turn off the roof and then place one right here and then go over three to this point go up two and then over three so a nice rectangle right there and you don't have to really adjust its size or anything so all right good job you did the slanted roof which is probably going to be the hardest part so now we can go upstairs and we're going to grab the gable roof so we are going to start at this point right here we just started the slanted roof on that point and then we can go back a bit and over three so we're just covering the center part of the roof basically but we're going to have it overlap because i think that's a cool look we'll see hopefully it is and then i'm going to raise up a bit because you save money that way so now i'm just going to recolor it to match the wall so the concrete and then i'll probably make the ceiling concrete as well okay now i'm going to copy that roof once again and i'm just going to place it straight across and then i'll probably just go by like three so adjust its size a bit so now I know I said I wasn't going to use a slanted roof again, but we're using it one more time. It's not difficult this time. It's so easy. You're just placing it in a square, just like that. And you don't have to adjust its size if you don't want to. Yeah, just recolor it and then place it over here. Once again, start at the top left corner, go over two to the top right corner, 
down two, and then over two, just a square. And that's it for the roof. Oh wait, just kidding. We have to fix this. So here's a little trick. I always will place the flat roof down in the back of my house if I have any like holes like this because it saves money and nobody can really see it and I also don't really care if anybody sees it because nobody's gonna see it so it's okay all right now we are done with the roof so we're gonna place some pillars real quick I'm gonna grab these plain thin pillars and we're gonna place two on each side so first place one down and then we're gonna color it a shade of brown any shade of brown you like I'm using this custom color and then I'm gonna use this wood green material and I'm gonna place one right next to it and then I'm gonna go on the right side and place two just like that so it looks like they're holding up the roof um down here I think I'm gonna to use the plain pillars and i'm gonna color them the same as those pillars i don't know if this looks like great um i think it kind of can uh i don't know i don't know if it really matches but like we're gonna hope it does okay so we're gonna grab a garage door i was gonna use this traditional wide garage door and then color it the same as the pillars and then color it black and then white i don't know if i like that but i think I think it's kind of fine. I don't really know. I'm kind of like indecisive, but we're gonna grab a front door, this modern reveal door. I love this door. I think this door honestly is saving the build right now because I don't know if I like this build too much. Like I said, I'm indecisive, so, but I like that door. I think that door kind of like saves the build a bit. So we're gonna grab some windows. We are gonna grab this small panel window. So you could just place one right here and we're gonna color it black. And then I like to give it a seashell hue because I think it looks brighter that way. And then copy one and place it right next to it. And then you can just center those and then you can copy that window and then place two more on this side and then center them once again and for the windows right here in the center we're gonna grab two of these modern square windows so we're changing them up a bit and just recolor them to match those windows and then place two and center them so this is what it looks like so far so we're gonna go to structural and we're gonna grab this square beam and then we're gonna place it on this roof right here so we're gonna start at the top and then just go straight down i guess we can color it the same as the pillars and then i'm just gonna copy that again and i'm gonna place it horizontally at the bottom of this roof and then i'm going to start at this bottom left corner kind of place it on an angle and then the same thing on this side so just give it some extra detail and i guess we could grab a wall trim this plain flat crown molding and then just place it on the back walls i'm not going to place it on the front walls because i don't think that's going to look pretty good and then like the walls down here and that's about it and then i'm going to grab that wall trim and bring it downstairs and place it on that wall i'm probably not going to place it in the garage though so now i'm going to grab just a lamp just to brighten it up a bit so i'm going to grab this classic outdoor wall lamp i feel like that's modern and i'm going to color it linen because i think that's modern i don't know modern light light can't be modern i don't know it feels like a light that matches with the modern aesthetic i guess and then i'm going to place one up here if it like actually works i don't know what it's doing <laughs> all right i got it so there we go <laughs> now we can just place a driveway okay right here and then obviously one on the other side as well then we're going to make like a little porch kind of thing and i think here we're going to leave this open and we're just gonna plant a bunch of like flowers and stuff some grass some plants make it look kind of cool blossoming bushes i think we can grab a few of those and then i'll place another one over there and i'm like running out of money i'm gonna grab this box hedge i think and then place it like in front of those i gotta go get more money uh oh i went broke all right we should be good for now i'm gonna plant a rose bush right here in the center and i think we're gonna make a little design with these compact bushes i think we're gonna place them around the edge and then like alternate them how about with these natural plants because i really like those and then at the end could be like i guess a flower it's like a flower like welcoming you to your house do we play stepping stones i don't really know where i'm going with this um i don't know i'm feeling kind of creative oh wait what if we did a fountain wait a second i feel like that makes no sense <laughs> wait a second wait we could actually do that wait 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 <gasps> wait did we just do something that actually doesn't look horrible maybe it does look horrible though i'm not gonna like talk too soon okay wait i actually kind of like that okay we just accidentally did something i'm gonna outline this with the plain short fence and i'll color it the same as the pillars and i'm just going to make sure the plants go around the entire higher whatever this is called i don't even know what this is called but yeah oh i kind of like that wait that's kind of cool <laughs> are these bushes too much can we like shrink these <gasps> did not know you could do that that's pretty cool i just don't want these to take away from like the entire build then we could place this tall natural plant 
behind them and then like shrink them just a little bit oh that's kind of cool i like that i'm going to quickly place some stepping stones and then i'll color them white with bricks i'll place two next to each other and they'll just lead up to the garage on both sides i think we'll do the small stepping stones leading up to the door i don't know if that like makes sense i think i'll go in rows of three instead of one and then the center ones can be colored white with bricks and i think that's enough like landscaping i don't think we're gonna do anything more i think i'll just place like the modern fence around because i feel like that fence fits well with this build and i'm gonna color it the same as the pillars obviously on this side as well i think we'll use this round hedge right here just place that in the gaps <laughs> and then we're pretty much i think all finished at first i wasn't liking this build but i think after whatever this is i kind of like it a bit more it feels more lively you know please let me know if you'd like to see an interior otherwise i'm gonna to start working on a new build this is a really great house for role playing honestly because of the many rooms and the available space it has so i hope you guys enjoyed and hope you like the way it turned out thank you all so much for watching and i will see you all in my next video love you bye guys